Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're comparing Aether and Cursor, two AI-powered tools that aim to make software development faster and more efficient. One runs in your terminal, and the other lives inside a full-featured editor. Let's break down how they work, what they cost, and what makes each one stand out. So let's not wait any longer and start off with this video, starting with the platform overview of Aether. Aether is launched in 2023 and is a command line based coding assistant that integrates you with your GIT repository. It works by editing your files directly based on plain language instructions and commits changes cleanly as it goes. Great for those who prefer GIT centric workflows. Cursor is also launched in 2023 and is an AI enhanced code editor built on VS Code. It adds features like full project AI chat, context aware code suggestions, and in editor refactoring, all powered by models like GPT 4 and Claude. And now let's take a look at pricing and costs. Well, Aether is free and open source, and you run it locally and connect your own API keys from models like OpenAI or Claude. A cursor has a free tier with usage limits and a $20 per month per user plan that unlocks higher token limits and access to more powerful AI models. And now let's take a look at the features and the tools. Well, Aether works through your terminal and is designed to keep GIT history clean, and it can edit multiple files at once. Follows your instructions as well across a repo, and it can generate commits as it makes changes. Cursor integrates with your full code base inside the editor, offering real-time AI chat, code generation, refactoring tools, and intelligent suggestions as you type, all with a visual interface. And now let's make a final verdict between the two. I would say that Aether is best if you want an AI assistant that stays close to GIT and the command line, offering precision and transparency with minimal overhead. Cursor is better if you want AI deeply integrated into your code editor, offering live suggestions, debugging help, and fast context-aware interactions. Both are powerful and it depends on how you like to work. And let me know in the comments down below which one you like the most. Anyway, I hope this video helped you out. Please leave a like and consider subscribing, and then I will see you in the next one.